Today on Engineering Newswire, we're stretching wires to incredible lengths, embracing the great bartender in the sky, and cooling laptops with jet engines. Researchers from North Carolina State University have created conductive wires that can be stretched up to eight times their original length and remain functioning. Think of the possibilities. Stretchable headphones and phone chargers, vacuum cords that never come unplugged, smart textiles, intelligent clothing, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. To make the wires, researchers start with a thin tube made from extremely elastic polymer. The tube is then filled with a liquid metal alloy of gallium and indium, an efficient conductor of electricity. Previous attempts at elastic wires focused on embedding metals in flexible polymers, but that created a trade-off. By increasing the amount of metal, you improve composite conductivity, but lose an extra spring in your step. This team keeps the materials separate to enable maximum conductivity without sacrificing the stretchy. One challenge remains which will keep these wires from stuffing your stockings this holiday season, how to minimize leakage of the metal if these wires are ever severed. Ooh, leakage sounds messy. Air travel can be a stressful situation, from pre-planning your wardrobe to figuring out what liquids are appropriate to pack in your carry-on. Add the cost of plane tickets, food, and baggage fees? I'm stressed simply thinking about it. An attempt to make flights cheaper and more comfortable for passengers, for once, German firms SkyMax and Air Eltec have developed the Sky Tender Trolley, an automated drink machine that promises to render conventional airline bottles and cans obsolete. The Sky Tender dispenses hot and cold drinks at the touch of a button while eliminating the need for soda cans, water bo boilers, and coffee makers. It offers 100 different flavors and 18 drink options, dispensing 235 total drinks during a flight. It requires less training, it's more hygienic, and it saves money by dispensing exact measurements. Hopefully they rig it with a strong navigational skill set so it won't slam into my knee every time it rolls by my seat. Wouldn't hurt to put a smile on it either. Just saying. Well, it's the holiday season. Are you ready for a warm and fuzzy engineering story? Every year, 200,000 children are born with club foot, most of which are in developing countries. Treatment for club foot is typically an expensive and elaborate bracing system, which is a problem in countries like Nicaragua. So the Miracle Feet Foundation and Reallocate set forth to create a simple, low-cost brace. With CAD help from Autodesk Inventor, the tech shop community of designers developed a brace and sent it off to Object to create a rapid prototype. They sent the brace to the doctors for feedback and by the time this project was completed, more than 13 iterations had been developed and a final design chosen. A key element was simplicity of assembly, as the team quickly discovered that the doctors were forced to use everything from file cabinets to their desks as tools for tightening wing nuts and making adjustments. Holiday season, warm and fuzzy, you're welcome. Jet Machines Extreme is building a modern day version of the Bell Rocket Belt from the 1965 James Bond movie, Thunderball. Four mini turbo jets on one rocket belt, yeah! The SWB-100 Microjet Turbine engines were originally designed for the Navy Affordable Weapons System program. While the jet vest has a similar performance profile compared to the Bell rocket belt from the Bond movie, the main difference is that the superior fuel efficiency of the Williams WR-19 gave the Bell system a flight time of about 20 minutes, compared to about 4 minutes for the JME jet vest. While the team is certain that the jet vest will fly, they believe that their progress will be slowed if the project doesn't receive better funding. The company enlisted the help of crowdsourcing site Kickstarter to help put an added boost in their project's funding. But as of now, it isn't doing so hot. Come on, people! Top backers get a chance to fly this thing! General Electric recently unveiled what appears to be the thinnest cooler for the next generation of ultra-thin devices, the DCJ. Not only is this thing tiny, it uses half the power of similar fans. Using dual piezoelectric cooling jets, the DCJ acts as a pair of miniature bellows. Designing the cooler based on the concept of our lungs, the cooling jets expand and contract when actuated with an AC signal to suck in cool air and expel hot. Originally invented to cool jet engines, GE thought to miniaturize the technology. That's right, jet engine technology to cool your future laptop. 
even more interesting is the fact that this technology is not limited to a specific footprint, making it almost completely customizable to any application. This technology also has a tunable acoustic profile, allowing for virtually silent operation in most applications with some minor tweaking. Thin as a credit card and half the power consumption? Sounds perfect. Now they just need to solve that whole toasted skin syndrome issue. A laptop shouldn't be used on your lap. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For PD&D TV, I'm David Manti and this has been your Engineering Newswire.